Yo Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to open FL Studio with a custom template every time you open FL Studio. This is gonna make it really, really easy and faster for you to just get into creating your music because as soon as you open FL Studio, it's gonna open with the template of your choice instead of you having to open it and then going to the template and then going through all that long stuff, which is definitely something that I used to do. Now, this is a question that came from a gentleman. Let me see if I can bring this image up. Daish, Daisha Martin. I don't think that's a gentleman. I think that's a lady, but I could be mistaken. Let me know in the comment section if I got this wrong. I'm sorry. I'll just refer to you as they from now on. But Daisha Martin says, do you know if you could save a custom template for startup on Mac? These steps work for having the template in FL's in FL's bank, but when I start up, it's still loading FL's basic template, not the custom one. So basically, this was left on my video on how to create your own custom template, which you should check out if you don't know how to do that already. That is definitely something you need to know how to do before you get to this video. But I'm going to show you how to make sure that every time you open your FL Studio template, it opens with the custom template of your choice. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from Jay Carter Ray teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here now let's get straight into this shall we this is going to be pretty easy pretty straightforward in order to make it so that every time you open fl studio it opens up with the custom template of your choice what you need to do is go to options yeah then you need to go to general settings and here you'll see a bunch of settings don't worry about any of this unless this is stuff that you need to change you need to come all the way down here to your default template okay when you change this default template this will be the template that your project will start with because down here as you see startup project will start up with the default template you can also change this to start up with a completely empty project or your last used project but i like it to open up with the template and that's what we're doing right here so for the default template you basically just want to change this to whatever template you want to change it to if you've created templates and you saved it in the correct spot remember go watch my video on how to create your own custom templates then you'll see your template available here and all you need to do is select the template of your choice which my one is my r&b trap mixing template for me and once that is selected every time you open it up it will open up with the template of your choice as you can see i just opened fl studio and this opened with my r&b trap beat mixing template so by the way if you want to grab my rmb trap beat mixing template which will allow you to mix your beats in half the time basically your beats are going to be half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage there's a link down below or you can go to jcarteray.com forward slash rmb trap fl and that will take you to this template and i've got a stock version and a version with the plugins that i personally use but mainly on here it's a bunch of eqing and using stock plugins from fl studio anyways which basically shape out your plugins and allow you to only focus on mainly leveling which is pretty much easier than eqing so it gets all the eqing out of the way gets everything sounding pretty smooth pretty clean so that's that that's the video very very quick very very easy my question of the day is what is the essential thing that you need to have in your template for making beats let me know in the comment section down below and let me know how you're setting up your template so that you can get into making more beats faster if you've got any other questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below as well. And I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.